and welcome to Life with a Side of Wine. I'm Danny Gold, and this is my partner in wine, Sherry Guerrero. Hello! And we are sitting here. All the beaches are shut down, and it's 4th of July weekend. Oh. And so we are lounging with our feet in our cool jacuzzi, pretending like we're at a pool somewhere far away. Um, but first off, I want to thank Sherry for helping me start this YouTube channel. Um, I'd been talking about it for probably a couple of years, this right? This is true, totally true, going on and on and on, <laughs> wanting to do it. Wanting to do it, wanting to do it, and we went for a long, long, long walk a couple months back, and I mentioned it again, and Sherry basically hit me over the head and said, oh my gosh, you always go out and do what you want to do. Why is this taking you so long? And of course, I came up with, well, I don't know the name, I don't know this, I don't know that. And what did you say? Sometimes you just need to just jump on in. Just do Things it. Things don't have to be perfect. <laughs> jump on in. Just jump on in. Just, just jump, jump in. in. And so we did, and we started, and we did our first episode, and we have a few of them, but I do want to thank you for supporting me and, like, g giving me that, like, lighting the fire under my butt to get going and doing it. You know what? You, She's been my biggest supporter and cheerleader for 30-plus years, and so. Aw. And that's why I love her. Thanks, Cher. Yeah. So anyway, that, that being said, um, like we said, it's 4th of July weekend. Do you have any big plans? Uh, <laughs> I did kidding. have big plans, <laughs> but thanks to our little Fred COVID, um, no, we're just going to be in our backyard, pool, some um, drinks, and one of the drinks we're making today is what I'm going to have um, tomorrow as well for 4th of July, and family. So yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's exactly what we're doing, a little barbecue. I'm going to try some um, pulled pork sliders. Oh, yum. Yeah, try to do that. But um, I don't know about you, but I'm getting really thirsty. So do you want to try to make up some of these spritzers for tomorrow? Absolutely. Like, test Can't some wait. recipes out and Can't stuff? wait. Okay, here we go. Ciao. Okay, so I thought we would do try a rosé spritzer okay. and then a white wine spritzer and just kind of see where we go with that. Sounds good. Okay. Yeah, okay. sounds good. So I'm going to use my pretty little rosé glasses. Isn't that cute? Sip happens. Cute. This is true. Sip happens and partners in wine. Aww. Oh, there you go. Do you remember we used to drink wine spritzers on um, 4th of July? In Catalina? And we went to Catalina. Yeah. Yes. We spent yes, many 4th of Julys in Catalina Island because um, my parents seemed to think I couldn't get in trouble. <laughs> If wow. I can't like get into any weird random cars with boys or anything. Just random boats. Mm -hmm. So they said, go to Catalina. And I brought my little friend here with me and we did it years and years. Oh my in gosh. A row. Maybe a good five or six years in a row. Yeah. Anyway. So, so that was our fourth of, Yeah, that was our fourth of July experience when we were youngsters. Oh boy. Okay, All right. so wine spritzers. So wine spritzers. So just a little bit of information. Wine spritzers originated in Austria, and they're very popular in Europe. Um, typically, it's about 25% of a club soda or a sparkling water, 25 to 50%. And it's just to kind of lighten up the drink. Yeah. Um, and the word spritzen is a German word, spritzen, which means to spray. So that's where they came up with the wine spritzer. You're so smart. I know, just a little bit of information. So for this one, I thought because the rosé has a little bit of a... A little bit of a hint of strawberry. Mm -hmm. I thought we'd um, Ooh, yum. maybe put just a few strawberries in. Again, you can do With this. Us? Yeah, just. And then we'll just do. Let's see. So I bought um, just a little um, Perrier. It's a little orange flavored. Mm -hmm. And then I got a couple sparkling waters and flavors: blood orange and lemonade. But I feel like so no Seven Up. No, <laughs> no Seven Up. Okay. I feel like perhaps just a little shot of that. Just a little shot of that. We, you, do you taste it and then go, oh, I need a little more? Probably. Yeah, I'm going to okay. use this. Okay. And then I'm going to, I feel like muddling it up a little bit would be useful, just so you kind of get those flavors. Again, you don't want too much, but just a hint. And then, let's see, I garnish it with a little strawberry. Little garnish. So try that. All right. Do we cheers oh, first? Cheers. Sorry. <gasps> Bad luck. Oh my gosh. Cheers. Oh yeah. I All right. So that's good. Very good. Number one. Yes. Okay. And you use the Perrier with that. I just use the Perrier. Okay. That's a little orange flavor. Yeah. But... Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Love it. One down. <laughs> so I just got about five inches cut off my hair and. This is what best friends are for. She told me I'm about Not me. this far from looking like a grandma. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so great, thank you. Anyway, moving on. I mean, you know. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. It's a lot. Okay. 
So I You wouldn't be my friend <laughs> if I didn't think you were cute. <laughs> Number one. Oh my God. All right, so I've decided that two bottles aren't enough, that we should also try to do a white wine, an, another white wine. So we're gonna do a Riesling right now. And let's pour that so I have enough glasses. We're gonna do um, one spritzer with a Riesling. Riesling. A Riesling. <laughs> Riesling, so Rieslings. Should I taste this real quick or are you sure. going to go on? Yeah, yeah. No, I, I will go on. Or are you going to go on? I'll go on. <laughs> I'll go on and on and on. I'm going to try it just real yeah, quick because it. Rieslings and me are best friends. So it's not bad. It's just, sometimes it's a little sweet for right. me. Yeah. So here's the thing about Rieslings. It's With this one, tasty. like this one, I get you, you definitely. They're much more fruit forward. They're high in acidity, but the thing that about Rieslings is there's levels of sweetness. Mm -hmm. So there's, I think there's Trocken, which is dry, dry, dry. This is a Cabernet, which is semi dry. Then you go to an Auslis and a Spotlis, and you go down the line to sweeter and sweeter and sweeter. And uh -huh. it just depends on when they harvest the grapes. Well, because this, so I chose this Riesling. Um, to try it out okay. with, is that there? yeah, okay. Okay. so I'm going to try it, let's see, it is sweet, there's more fruit in it, yeah. so I thought maybe, and, and there's also a lot of citrus in this, like a little bit of lime, oh, okay. so I thought maybe we would do, maybe we'll do, I guess I don't need to pour such a big glass, but maybe we'll do a little bit of this orange bitters, which I was reading through a bunch of different recipes, I'm just kind of winging it, but they said orange bitters is fun in oh. one of them. So I like to wing I'm it when I cook. I'm just going to try. This is kind of your own. Let's own try just a concoction. few. Since I've never done it before, we can always add. Let's try a few drops of that. And then I feel like a little lemon. Oh, cute. Slice. I like it. And then what about? Oh, I love mint. It's do little mint. Yeah. Just put that in there. Oh, I love it so far. It's very pretty. I mean, who knows what it'll taste like, but it looks good. Yeah. Okay, so you know what? I think I'll add, instead of this one, let's try this blood orange. A little bit of that. Okay. And see how that goes. Well, that's a little bit. Yeah, that's a little bit. Not, not right? Mm. I want a little more bubble. So you could add as much or as little as you want. Yeah. That's the that's beauty good, of though. it. That is really, really good. I would absolutely make this if I had friends over for a late brunch. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is dangerously good. I just, this you could just do this excellent. in a big picture. Absolutely. In a big picture. And, um, and maybe, um, even have some more of your soda on the side if people want you to want add, add more. Yeah. But, um, I'm yeah. telling you, this is probably one of the best spritzers I've had. Cool. Good job, Okay. Dan. So that's the Riesling, the orange bitters, just a few drops, this, um, blood orange sparkling water. So good. And then the lemon and mint. That's good. And it's so beautiful. It is. And Thank you. you. Cool. All right. I have a new recipe. Ugh. Second one down. Next. Next. <laughs> okay. Okay. So next, we're going to try just a white wine. Okay. Let's just try a straight Good old, old fashioned. Old fashioned Pinot Grigio. Let's not get too fancy, but let's see how this goes. So, I'm going to try it first. Okay. <laughs> My taste tester. I like a Pinot Grigio. I'm into yeah, Pinot Grigios, Pinot Grigios are good. lately. Yes. Now with these, again, I wouldn't use, just use a good wine. You don't need to use a $100 Mon Rocher or anything like that, but just use a good, you know, a good. What's a Mon Rocher? <laughs> a Mon Rocher is um, a French wine. It's basically a Chardonnay grape. I shouldn't say basically. It is Chardonnay. Mon Rocher is a region in the Côte de Beaune in Burgundy, France. And they make probably the best white wines in the world. Like, mm. the, they fetch an enormous price. Um, but you still can get some for $80, $90, $100, and they're delicious. Oh. And they're not big and heavy like California Chardonnays. Yeah. And they're just, they're beautiful and they're light. Love them. I would never dare make a spritzer out of one of those. Well, I mean, right. ever, right. ever. Right, I mean, right. Absolutely I not. love all the knowledge I'm getting while I'm here with you making all these videos. Thank so you. I do come home with this knowledge and kind of spread Don't the word. Don't know what to do with it. Yeah. <laughs> Locked and loaded. Okay. Okay. So what I think, I would like to use some peach in this one because this, this is just a good, good white wine. So let's throw, pardon my fingers, I did wash my hands. I'm going to throw a few 
peaches Thank you. in there. And pretty too. And pretty, a few peaches. And then, um, what do you think? I think? Should we do the lemonade, lime, pink lemonade and yes. see how that works? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Let's do a skosh of that. Oh, see, you put more. And I know, I'm not calculating it. That's okay, okay. that's the fun Should about Should we do cooking. mint in this one too? I mean, the mint's let's so pretty. Let's try it without. Okay, let's try it without. Try it without, try. okay. Let's do cheer first. Okay, cheer first. try that without. Mm. That's good. That is very good. Um, I do like the idea of the mint. A little mint. If it's just for the fact of it looking pretty. Yeah. Um, but you do always you, taste it. You do get a hint of it, especially I think so. if you're not like really muddling it in. Like, uh, but you know what you do do when you're what you, what do, you do, do do when you're <laughs> when you're drinking. You'll smell the mint when your yeah, yeah. when your nose is in the glass. Yes. So that's nice yeah. always and refreshing, and it feels like I might have just brushed my teeth for the first time in two weeks. No. <laughs> So the other thing about spritzers is, as my husband says, you don't Ooh, end up, like, what did he just say? You don't end up blowing bubbles in your soup course yes. at dinner after a spritzer. You're just kind of light and refreshed and ready for good conversation. I feel like this <laughs> during face down. Right. After <laughs> all being home and locked in and hardly any places to go that. That's good. And if you do want a cocktail at 2 in the afternoon, it's... Or it's, 11. Yeah, but it is making, it's making more sense for me to kind of add a little spritzer to my wine because then I feel like I'm not such a lush. <laughs> I, think, I think with this whole situation... <laughs> just saying. Nobody thinks anybody's a lush. Like, if you can just right. get through the day and if it takes drinking at 11 o'clock... Right? Yeah. I don't know. Every day is different. Every, Every day, day is, is different. different. But I yeah. go through 100%. ups and downs. Sometimes I'm fine and other times... <laughs> I know. So anyway, okay, try that again. Okay. Now okay. the mint's in there. Plus this is very pretty as well. Yeah, that's really good. That's very another good. hit. That's a hint. I need to write a book. Okay, can we... Uh, you do. <laughs> We're doing all a about show. All about Okay, so I think we should go back and try them all. All right, I like that idea. Okay. So the first one was the rosé with the strawberries and the Perrier, Le Orange. Okay. And let's try back. Yeah. After it's been sitting with the fruit. Mm hmm That's good. It's, it's good. It's nice and light. It's not overpowering. Okay. Then we did this one. Should we be grading them since I'm a teacher? Yes. What would you give that one? I think it's not it's, a C. I'm going to say it's in the B range, but kind of a, a low to medium B. B. It's, it's dry. The it's not sweet, though. If you like really dry and refreshing, yeah. like yes. that it's would good. be it. Definitely that would be good. It. Yeah. Okay. B All range. Right. B range. Okay. So now the one. So now is the one. This was your favorite. So this is yeah. the one that's the Riesling with the bitters, the lemon. No. Did we put the bitters orange. in this Yeah, one? the bitters and the orange. Yes. Okay. So the Riesling with the bitters, the orange, the lemon, and the mint. mint. Okay. Oh, I love it. Yeah, that's good. So good. This is a little sweeter because the it's a little, Riesling is a little sweeter. But yeah, it's, it's a little good. sweeter, but the um, the so the, the 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 sparkling water definitely and the lemon. Yeah, the, the lemon, lemon I think is what is yeah. the hit in this because it definitely kind of brings it down. Yeah, a little bit it the, takes a little bit of the sweetness away. Oh, that's that is excellent. That's so what an would a. you rate the, the A? That's an A. Maybe not an A plus, but definitely mm. a hard A. Delicious. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Okay. And then the last one was just the Pinot Grigio with the peaches, the mint, and a little bit of the um, pink lemonade. Pink lemonade. Oh, that's good. Yeah, because the longer it sits, the more you get mm, that peach you flavor do. in there and the you mint. You get the peach and mint flavor in there. So this would be so good to have both of these in pitchers. Yeah. Because I absolutely taste a difference. Now yeah, after this, it's sat. This, obviously, the Riesling one is much sweeter. Yeah. Um, Not too sweet, but it's much sweeter. I have sweeter. to say this one may just beat the Riesling one by a Hair. tad just because it's less sweet. Mm, I like the peach in it. Delicious. We did it. A plus. Whew. A plus. Cheers. Mm -hmm. So that wraps up our experimentation process for Life with a Side of Wine. And hopefully it'll give you some ideas for the 4th of July weekend or parties coming up or sitting home by yourself. Um, we're uh, just desperately trying to find anything to do <laughs> over these 
quarantine days. But um, anyway, have a happy 4th of July. Thanks. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Us. God bless America. Again, I think we have 20. Yeah, God bless America. I think we have 25 followers now. <gasps> what? Maybe 26. That's, that's amazing. Yeah. We're yeah. so famous. We're totally famous. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Cher. Love, Love you. you. Bye.